Tom Clark's main event is a Boink Studios production. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Boink Studios. And check us out on boinkstudios.com where you can see all of our projects, past, present, and future. And now, on with the show. This is Daddy's show. Step off. <laughs> Hey, hey, what is up? Welcome back to the program, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom Clark, and this is Tom Clark's Main Event. We're back once again here on Facebook Live. Glad you are with us. We're also recording today. The show will post on YouTube and is always available on boinkstudios.com. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, and iHeartRadio. This is episode number 152, and yes, we're moving right along here on Facebook Live. I want to thank everyone for joining us here, of course, and for coming back each and every week. Much thanks to Heidi Ryan and the whole crew at Wrestling Rumors for giving us this platform. We do greatly appreciate it. So episode number 151 was the Friday Free For All 4. We just let it fly, baby. We talked about lots of stuff from WWE to AEW to New Japan, NXT, MLW, and everything in between. It was an open forum, people. That's how we roll sometimes here on the show. But now it's on to the next big event for Vince McMahon's company. That's right. It's time for Clash the Clash. And yes, your boy will be there. This time the main event is WWE Clash of Champions Preview. Man, that's a mouthful. (laughs) And I almost lost it halfway through. Uh, How's everybody doing out there today? Uh, James, have a great day, man. Jenna, thank you so much again for hanging out. What's up, Christopher? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, John, uh, John Moxley had surgery, uh, so he's still out for sure. The Braun and Seth show. Yeah, good point. Shane, I've not heard anything of the like of Impact Wrestling buying Ring of Honor. Let me say this. Um, Ring, you know, Impact's got some money. Behind it, especially now that uh, Anthem uh, has purchased uh, Access TV, so there's and and Impact is moving to Access in October, um, which is a good thing for that company. Uh, I don't I don't know of anybody out there that wishes ill will on on Impact. Hopefully not. I want that company to succeed and to to get over and to make money, lots and lots of money. I do. Um, hello, uh, Jane in Great Britain. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Um, do I see them buying it at Ring of Honor? I hope not. Uh, I love Ring of Honor. Um, I will say this, however, in in to that to that to that tone to that vein, um, I've watched a lot of a lot of Ring of Honor lately. They just had a, a big uh, three show over three day weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All good shows, all good matches, dead crowds, and these are the traditional Ring of Honor crowds, uh, like the loyal fans. No noise. Uh, that's a bit concerning for me. I'm at home watching the matches, and I'm popping in my chair. And I'm like, oh, that was good. And the crowd's just just barely anything. And I'm just, I'm really surprised by that. They've lost a lot of talent over the past couple of years, but they've lost talent before and rebounded, you know? I, I hate to see that. Do I, do I think it would benefit them and Impact? It would benefit Impact 100%. Um, I don't know what it would do for Ring of Honor. Could I see a merger? That would be interesting. I mean, they're going to have to do something to combat AEW, I would think. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. So, Miss Lopez, what is up? A lot of people say the impact is cool. Hey, man, it's all good for me. I, I No disrespect to them. I want to see them succeed, like I said before. If I told you I was watching all the time, I'd be lying because I don't. Uh, they're hard to find. They won't be now. So, yeah, just resign RVD for sure. So, uh, all right, folks. So, we got a big show today. We got lots and lots to talk about. We've got like 11 matches on Sunday. Your boy's going to be there, Clash O Champions. Uh, me and my kid will be there. It should be a fun show. It's going to be a long show. I've already warned him he's going to be going into school late that Monday. I mean, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Um, uh, he's okay with going in late. He's better with staying out, but daddy's not keeping him out, okay? I'm just telling him. And he wants to. And I said, nope, not going to happen. Because, uh, you know, I told him we started going to the wrestling shows last year and, and going to as many as we possibly could. I said, dude, even when school starts back in, we're going to keep going. If I can get his tickets to somewhere, we're going to go. It's important to me. He has fun. And, uh, you know, I, I want us to have fun together. So, you know, um, it's uh, uh, it's all good. But like I said, he can just go into school late 
So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Montrese, welcome to the show. Chip's asking for a live stream. Maybe I'll do that thing like when I get there, I'll go live for a second or two and flip the screen and show you the ring and all that good stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I should be able to take a few minutes anyway and do that. So if you guys are curious about it. so um, Chris saying Sasha Banks is going to beat the man. A lot of people are saying that, man, for sure. Not just you. I've actually uh, opined on that very topic this past week online. So, um, good question, Delvin, about the uh, about the toys and stuff. WWE would be the company to do it, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. I'm, I can't say it's never going to happen. It's not going to happen right now. Matt, neither Matt and Jeff are even on TV. So, AW could shut Impact on Rich down uh, if they don't combine force. But Larry, I don't want to see that. I don't, if there's a choice between Impact and Ring of Honor, I, first of all, I don't think it's going to happen. But I mean, it, it, let's say that by a long shot that you're right. If that means that they don't shut down, they absolutely need to join together because I don't want to see that happen. Eric says AEW isn't a threat. Eric, I would submit it's too early to say that. I think it's way too early. Let's see how they do on TV first. If we're two months into TV and their ratings are terrible, maybe then I might agree with you. Right now, I can't say that. They have a have a lot of money. They got a big budget. They got a lot of talent. They've had some good shows. Uh, you know, uh, we'll see. I don't know if I agree with that at all. What about Jim Cornette going to NWA to announce? I'm all for it, Shane. Uh, I love Cornette. I don't agree with everything he says, but I'm an old school guy. I grew up watching Jim. I appreciate everything he did for the business. And unlike a lot of younger talents in AEW and other places around the country and the world, I will show Jim Cornette the respect that he has earned. Um, he doesn't have to be nice to me. He doesn't have to uh, not curse me out or anybody else for that matter for me to respect him. Uh, uh, and I do. And I think he's owed that. I don't think. I know he's owed that. And uh, he's earned it. He deserves it. And for anybody to take a crap on Jim Cornette and disregard everything he has to say is missing the point entirely. There's my two cents on that. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, Jim. Let's just watch all the wrestling instead of picking sides. Very well said. Very well said. What's up, Bit? Welcome back to the show. Uh, David, I wouldn't be surprised if you're asking about AEW coming out of the video game. I would not be surprised. They're doing everything else. I say if they can do it and make money and we're all enjoying it, I say let's do it, man. I'll play the game, sure. No pun intended. All right, let's get to the Clash of Champions. There's a whole bunch of matches to talk about, yes? Let's zip down through here. You guys stop me. Uh, if you got questions or comments or words of wisdom, like we always do every week here on the show, anything you want to say about it, Let's talk, man. Let's converse. Let's debate. Let's argue. Let's have a friendly argument. Okay, whatever. But let's do this. All right, let's start off. The Cruiserweight Champion, Drew Gulak versus Umberto Carrillo and Lance Dorado. Um, this is going to be one of those, hey, hey, 200 miles an hour, we're not going to sell anything matches. Um, I'm okay with the first two parts. The last part, I'm not. And this is no disrespect. Uh, here's the problem. When three guys get this much time to do a wrestling show, and it's a small time, for a match, I should say, um, they got to cram, not got to, but they feel as though they got to cram all their stuff. What's the old saying? Got to get your stuff in. Get all their stuff into, say, eight minutes or whatever it is. That's a tall order, man. That's a really tall order. I don't know if that's... And, and that's why there's no selling. Uh, I'm old school when it comes to that. I want the selling. I want it to be realistic. I want it to, to make sense. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But... Uh, um, uh, I think it's going to be interesting. We're going to get to Seth and Braun. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I promise you. Jenna, I, thank you for the question, Jenna, about this match. Um, they've not announced it as the pre-show, but I would not be surprised if it is. Um, that's just me talking because there's a lot of other matches. Um, you know, no disrespect to Roman and, and Eric Rowan. I might put Eric and, and Roman as the, as the pre-show. Uh, you might think I'm crazy, but I mean... I, I don't think it would be a statement against Roman at all if he went on first. In fact, I think it might bode well for him. Roman is such a, a hateable heel right now, and, and he's really done nothing to deserve anyone's cheers. And I think with it being in Charlotte, North Carolina, I mean, I'm telling you, man, fans down here love a good fight. And despite what anyone's ever said about Roman or the kind of fight that he's caught before, Roman's a fighter, man. He squares up. You know what I mean? I'd like to see them go on first. That's just me talking. I don't know if it's going to happen. But... uh Listen, I've got a couple people here talking about Ric Flair. Listen, folks, I said this before. What's up, Jason? Um, yeah, thank you, Chip. Totally. Um, people are talking about Rick, and you might have asked me, somebody might have asked me, 
I made my statement about Flair Hill last week on the show. Um, let me make it again. And I want everyone out there to understand where I'm coming from. Like I just said with Jim Cornette, Jim Cornette has earned your respect. You may not like him. You may hate him. He's earned your respect with, what, 40 years in the business? He's done a lot, seen a lot. Probably made more money than you and I will ever make. Of course, I don't know who you are. So <laughs> you might make tons of money. Um, and probably made more for the companies he's worked for than a lot of other people could say they've made in their lifetime. Ric Flair, just take everything I just said and triple that. I mean, Flair has done it all in the wrestling business. And if he's got a valid claim to the man trademark, he says he came out in the fall of 2018 when Becky started using it. Last year, folks, not today, not last week, last year when Becky started calling herself the man. And he politely raised his hand and sent a text to WWE and said, you can't. Dude, come on, I over here. And they supposedly disrespected him. He tried again. They dissed him again. I mean, I'm sorry. At some point, you've got to pay respect to the guy that spent his entire career calling call himself the man. I'm not saying he trademarked the name in terms of no one could call himself the man in a TV show, a movie, whatever. We're talking about the pro wrestling business. Be specific here. So for everyone throwing crap at Ric Flair, ease up. It's okay to have your opinion, and it's totally fine. But you don't know his personal situation. You don't know why he's saying and doing these things. I love when people think they know what's in a guy's checking account. Funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. That, well, Flair's doing this because he's broke. First of all, you don't know the status of Ric Flair financially. You're guessing. Because you're hearing a whole lot of other people talk online that Ric Flair's broke. You don't know anything. What's my financial situation? Does anybody care to take a guess? None of you know. I don't know yours. We got a lot of guts to sit back and pass judgment on one of the greatest of all time, arguably the greatest of all time, because he has an issue with someone taking the name that he used for years. I Listen, you can get mad at that if you want to, but I'm getting a little irritated at people taking a crap on this guy. It is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm not saying back the money truck up to his front door, but he's Ric Flair. Come on, guys. Am I so old? Am I the old guy in the room that remembers what he did for this business? We should all know what he did for this business. Okay? No doubt. Anyone taking a crap on him needs to look themselves in the mirror. I'm just saying. A little ridiculous. Thank you, James. Appreciate it, though. Listen, thank you, Jim. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right all the time. I've never said you're not allowed, allowed to your opinion or entitled to your opinion. What I am saying is this. I'm right about this, okay? And, and you can come at me all you want to. Take a step back before you start throwing punches because everybody wants to be tough. Take a step back and think about who we're talking about here, okay? You don't have to make it. You don't have to go lowball with this guy. You don't have to, oh, he's this and he's that. He's Rick freaking Flair, man. Come on. People need to relax on this stuff, man. I mean, for real. Relax. I'm all wound up. See what you did? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When that time is said, no matter fan or not, you always think Ric Flair. Yeah. A lot of people are backing me up. And it, you know what? It's okay if you don't. I, you're not going to ruin my day at all. My day's going well. Not going to hurt my feelings. Um, and you know what? By the same token, I'll flip it back on you. Let's say everyone was attacking Hogan. Now, I know it's two different things. Bear with me. And listen, let's call a spade a spade. A lot of you folks watching the show today and listening today watch WWE 99% of the time. You grew up, I'm not saying all of you, don't disrespect, I'm no disrespect, but uh, you grew up watching WWE and you watch it 99% of the time. I can mention athletes and other promotions, you may not even know who I'm talking about, you never even heard of them. WWE is your jam, I get it. But if you're going to defend Hulk Hogan over Rick, come on. You see what I'm saying? And on top of that, if someone were taking a crap on Hogan and he had done nothing to deserve it, if he had a point, I mean, you know, if, if WWE started calling somebody, uh, if they started calling Kevin Owens the Kevster, you know, Kevster Mania or whatever, I mean, yeah, they own that trademark and stuff, but if Hogan owned it, and I don't know if it does or doesn't, I'm just giving you a random example, I would be backing him up. It would suck for me because I don't personally care for Hogan, 
uh, is in terms of an athlete. And as a person, I think it's questionable. It's just me talking. But I would back that guy up. If he had a case, absolutely. I mean, he's done a lot for the business as well. So I'm saying, flip the script and look back. If you're offended by the flair thing and you think he sucks or whatever, flip it back and, and choose one of your favorites and tell me how would you feel if that guy were in flair shoot. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Jenna, thank you for that. Yeah, and uh, you know what? I'm not suggesting that anybody, uh, um, that anybody should hate Hogan or anything. I've never been a fan of Hogan. I didn't grow up a WWE fan, so maybe I am biased after all. Okay, but at the end of the day, you know, and I, I don't. It's not. I want to make this like a shoot, shoot, shoot a bullet at Hogan all the time. Someone on here always goes nuts when I talk about Hogan, because like, and just can't stand it. So I'm. I'll stop. I'm just. I was just trying to make a point. Man, I get fired up sometimes. My apologies. I don't mean this to be like a soapbox moment for the show, and I tend to do them a lot. Of course, it's my show, but I don't want you guys to be like, oh, there he goes again. Wild man down south. Whatever. So, uh, I'm going to get on with the show. Can we do that? I'm sorry. Let's do this. Uh, United States champion AJ Styles versus Cedric Alexander. I'm looking forward to this match. Number one, it's going to be a really, really freaking good match. Number two, I hope they get longer than like seven minutes. And number three... It'll be the first time I get to see AJ work live, okay? Uh, we went to SmackDown and Raw. He was there on the Titan Tron, and guess what? Didn't work a match. Thanks so much, WWE. But this time, bam, he's on the card, and yours truly gets to watch the phenomenal one. My kid's pumped up about that. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to watch that. I think it's going to be good. Uh, and let's face it, Charlotte is Alexander's hometown. He's going to step it up. AJ's going to give him some stuff. It's going to be a good match for sure. Intercontinental champion Shinsuke Nakamura. Check the shirt, yo. King Strong Style, baby. <laughs> I'm repping Knock today, okay? Knack? Knock? Knock, knock, who's there? That's who I'm repping. I'm sorry. He'll always be the King of Strong Style to me. Versus the Miz. Miz has looked less than stellar lately. Can we say that? The match we had we had with Andrade on SmackDown was not good. I like Miz. I've defended Miz a bunch. At the end of the day, Miz doesn't tend to have great chemistry with everyone. And the best of the best can have great chemistry with anybody. That's just my comment. You can choose to disagree. Totally fine. Um, my, my hope is that he and uh, Shinsuke have a fantastic match. I'm sure... Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sammy will be involved at some point. Uh, I like the combination of him and Nakamura. I like the fact that he speaks for him and cuts these promos and stuff. It's interesting. It's different. I like different. You know what I mean? Sometimes different is very, very good. Isaac says, I hope the Miz wins. It goes heel on us. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, let's see. Eric says, why is it to be burying the king? All right. So Eric, a lot of people have agreed with you over the years, but here's my comment to your comment. If you are on TV, and especially if you have a title, if you are featured every week on TV, on house shows, if they're selling your merch, if they're talking about you on the air, if you have vignettes and promos, backstage spots, entering interviews, you're not being buried. You can disagree with me. You can say six ways from Sunday, Tom has flipped his lid. They can bury someone in plain view and plain sight of the whole world watching. I get it. I don't see that happening with Shinsuke. I don't think that's what's happening. And I don't... There again, we talk about Flair's bank account. I don't know Shinsuke's bank account either. But everything that I have heard and seen and read is that he's comfortable. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just me throwing it out there to you, okay? Take that or leave it. But supposedly, he's making a lot more money now than he was ever making in New Japan. He and his family are fairly happy here. This is all second by second hand, folks. Like I said, take or leave it totally up to you. All right? So if he's comfortable, if he's comfortable, if he's happy, if he's happy with his gig, why argue with it? I mean, if if you as a fan says, Tom, he's capable of so much more. Guess what? I totally agree with you. Shinsuke could be the biggest, most despicable heel WWE champion in the history of that company, at least in the modern era. You best believe that, okay? Do I think it's going to happen? No. Well, let's see it happen. Yes. Is his career crap because it's not happening? I don't believe so. There again, these are all my viewpoints, man. Key says this is the best Shinsuke has looked in months when he wasn't even on TV, and Zane thing is cool too. I disagree. I'm sorry. I don't, sorry, Keith. My bad. I agree, brother. Keith in the UK, is that you? Yes? 
Yes, I agree with you totally. Owens is going to NXT. Isaac, oh, Isaac, I love that. Isaac, I love the crap out of that. I love the idea of that. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's see him go back to NXT. I think I would dig that. Uh, Toby, I think you might be right. I hate to say it, but I think you might be right. And But listen, Toby, to your point, it's not just the entertainment factor. Vince wants people that can speak English. I'm not saying he's racist or anything like that. I just You're right with it being WWE can only go so far, for sure. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Alma says Owens is the next CM Punk going against McMahon family. Alma, they've been saying that for a long time and, and it didn't work for his character. He got fired. Eh. And didn't even, didn't even, after he got fired, didn't even jump Shane and beat the living crap out of him. What? Like I said before when the, at the open of the show, it was, it was, t- it was just terrible. I don't know what they've done. Don't know what they're doing. Do I think he's getting buried? No. I just think it's a silly storyline that makes him look incredibly weak, like he couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag. I'm just saying. Uh, Gene says they need to take uh, uh, Shane out of TV because he's so boring. Boy, get from your mouth to God's ears, buddy. Let me tell you. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you think Kofi, Kofi will be able to retain the WWE title? Uh, we'll see. What's up, Alan? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, we'll get to that, but... Um, it feels like a Randy Orton win, but that's just me speculating. So, um, I didn't throw my predictions your way. I think um, I think a career. Well, let's see. I'm going to go with Gulak for the cruiserweight title. AJ defeats Cedric. Although I'd love to see Cedric sneak in the win in Charlotte. That'd be amazing. That would pop the roof off that place, man. I go with uh, Nakamura over the Miz, and that brings us to our next match: SmackDown Tag Team Champions Big A and Xavier Big A. Wow, what was that? Big E and Xavier Woods versus the Revival. I'm going with the Revival over the New Day here. I like them for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Um, I just think it makes a lot of sense. So uh, uh, we'll see what happens there. Any thoughts on the tag team match? John says, "Do you really think it's too soon for the Fiend to get a title shot?" John, in the world of WWE, I don't think it matters. Um, and that's not me being flippant about it. Uh, it's just me being honest. In the world of WWE, the way they book their shows and their matches and their talents, I don't think it matters. Um, I think they're going to put him in there because they're like, well, why not put him in there, pal? Eh, whatever. I'm not losing much sleep over it. If this were another company that didn't have a history of doing stuff like that, maybe I'd be upset, but I'm really not. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Jim says thinks New Day retains. Yeah, it could be. Heyman is apparently very adamant about Alexander. Well, maybe. Yeah, but let's let's put it to you this way. Um, it's still Vince's show. Vince calls the shots. Uh, he can hand the reins to everyone's hand the reins to. Supposedly, doesn't make a difference. It's still his show. We'll see. So XFL starting up. He may be uh, more hands off with WWE than he's been ever in his entire life. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Everyone says that, but I have a hard time believing he's just going to just not touch anything on SmackDown, Raw, or NXT for that matter. I have a hard time believing that. Larry says, I think WWE wants to keep the revolve from AEW. Larry, I think they want to keep the whole locker room uh, from AEW, and I think they should because it's smart. So uh, we will see what happens. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What's up with my sweet Nia Jax? Wasn't Nia injured? Didn't she get injured and need uh, surgery or something? I th- didn't she have double knee surgery? Am I thinking of someone else? Am I thinking of Owens? Am I getting Owens mixed up with Nia Jax? Interesting. Maybe I'm wrong. Someone look that up for me, will you? Let's see. Da, 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 da. The Fiend is great, but I don't want him in the title picture yet. Michelle, what's up? Welcome to the show. Um... I would love to see the revival win. Still Vince's show. I'm curious, what do you think about Triple H will change once Vince will be gone when Vince is dead. Vince will probably die on the job. I don't wish anything on him. I'm just it's not nothing crude or morbid, I'm just saying. Um, if you love what you did for a living and it was your baby and you put everything that you had, your heart and soul and your money into it, you'd probably want to do it uh to your dying breath as well. I don't think he's going anywhere ever. Uh, I think it would take something monumental for him to ever give the reins, just physically hand them over to Hunter or Stephanie or Shane or anybody else. I don't know what he would change, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, knee surgery. Thank you, Alma. Luke Harper's staying home, so he won't go anywhere else. Yep. Uh, sad with Harper. I say sad, but the guys, I assume Harper's getting paid to stay home. I don't. Again, I don't know what the situation is, but that's what I hear. Do you think Corbin's going to win King of the Ring? Abso-freaking-lutely. Yep. Sure do. 
uh, torn tendons. Brian, thank you. Thank you. There you go. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Keith, everybody for looking that up. Okay, so let's move on, shall we? We have WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross versus Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. I am less than excited about this match. No disrespect to any of the women involved. Uh, I like Sonya. I think she's still really green. Um, I like Nikki. I think she's really good. The other two ladies, I don't really care for too much, and I know I'll get some heat for saying I don't really care for Alexa Bliss. I'm just telling you my, my opinion. Um, hopefully the match is good and hopefully it's fairly short. Um, I don't think this match needs to go very long, but I do think that Cross um, and uh, and Alexa will retain. Moving on, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman versus Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. It would make the most sense for something crazy to happen in this match, whether it's a miscommunication. I don't think it'd be a flat-out hill turn by Braun or anything like that. I could be wrong. But I think it'll be more along the lines of accidentally bumping into each other, costing the win, costing the belts, and then that heat, that tension, that hate, and that vitriol, and that aggression and rage plays out in the main event. Maybe I'm wrong, uh, but then I see Ziggler and Rude capturing the tag team titles. That's just me. And I think if you're going to put the tag team titles on somebody that you can trust and it's going to be there that's going anywhere, I think those are your guys. I don't know why it can't be an established tag team, but it is what it is. Yes, Friday today is Friday the 13th, for sure. Yeah, Larry, right? I forgot this match was happening. There's a lot of matches on this card, man. Like I said, the, so the, the show starts at 7. At 7, okay. Wow. So you know what that means? We might be rolling up out of there at midnight. Oh, man. Charlotte's like an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes from where I live. That's going to be interesting. Not that we haven't done them before, me and the boy. Trust me when I tell you that. I mean, the last show we went to was uh, PWX in Gastonia. Really fun time. So, we'll see. We got tickets to Clash of Champions. We're going to go to AEW November 6th and probably do some more PWX before the year's out. So, yeah. It is going to be a long night, Jim. No doubt about it. Nikki and Beast Mode. Yeah, I agree with you totally. What changes would you like to see in WWE? James. James, how much time you got, baby? Couple days, couple weeks, couple months, couple years. Oh my God! Um, <laughs> I play, not really. Yes, Isaac, I am totally going to Clash of Champions. So here's your answer in a nutshell. If you're asking me, and here I am in North Carolina, in my office, surrounded by computers and TVs and DVDs and pop vinyls and a bass guitar, and no one really cares what I have to say except you, good folks, and people who read my columns. Certainly, WWE doesn't give a crap. But if you're asking me, I'll tell you. Um, it, it, to me, I just, at the, at the end of the day, all right, ready? I'm answering. Everyone prepare. I just want this crap to make sense. Now, I know what you're saying. It's pro wrestling. Tom, you're insane. The gray's getting to you. You've lost your mind. What is wrong with you? Go take a dive off a cliff, baby. It's over. Senility has set in. Your time is gone. It's over. Off to the retirement home with you. I get it. It's pro wrestling. It can only make so much sense to so many people at one time. But at the end of the day, if you start something on a Monday, finish it the next Monday. If you start something on a Monday at 8 o'clock, don't forget you did it by 11. Don't change, uh, don't change direction in midstream. Don't drop storylines. Don't elevate a guy just to pull him back down again. Don't you see what I'm saying? I just want it to be cohesive. I want to be able to watch the WWE product and not go, oh God. And I do that a lot. Now, is that just Tom's personal tape because all pro wrestling is subjective? Probably. And do they have to cater to make me happy? No. Am I their only audience? Am I their only demographic? No. But if you're asking me, I'm telling you, I just want it to make sense. How many times have you... They always want to compare themselves to a movie in Vince McMahon's world, right? How many times have you watched a movie and 10 minutes in you're going, What the frig is happening? Did, what? How is he... But where... And how did... Why? I get that all the time with WWE. So there's my answer. I just want it to make sense. As much sense as it can make for being a pro wrestling show. That's all. I know that's a lot. That's just me. Jason says, what's your thoughts on Worlds Collide replacing NXT Taker of Night Before the Royal Rumble? I don't know, man. I'm indifferent to it. I think um, Worlds Collide could be a lot of fun uh, uh, this year for sure, especially the 205 Live guys and everything. We'll see what happens. 
Do I think AJ is going to retire after his contract runs out in a few years? Brian, a few years is a few years. I don't know, man. I could tell you I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I I don't even have a guess for you. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I think it all depends on how happy he is and if he wants to keep going. It's a personal decision. I don't know. Do I see Lanny Poffo commentating? I, Shane, have, have I seen it recently? Yes. And Shane, Shane Odom, yes. So Shane, long-time viewer, yes. Thank you, man, for that question. All respect to Lanny Poffo. He's not exactly getting it done on commentary. Now, there again, this is coming from me who didn't grow up a WWE, WWE fan. I watched it. I, I couldn't say I was in the bag for that company. I'm still not. I'm just saying, okay? I don't, I'm not feeling it. In a company like RH where they tend to take everything very seriously and there's very little to no comedy, I, I don't... Some people might listen to him and go, well, it's a breath of fresh air, Tom. It's a sense of humor. The jokes feel old and outdated. He takes shots at wrestlers on commentary, which is really weird to me, and makes fun of them and asks when the Briscoes were going to get their teeth fixed and some stuff like that. And I'm like... Remember in... TNA, when Scott Steiner spent every breath of every promo called Samoa Joe fat. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's one thing to be a heel, uh, and you're taking shots at the guy you're going to work, but when you start doing that, I mean, how many people in the NWA and Jim Crocker Promotions called Dusty Rhodes fat? Think back. Look it up. I'm sure there's some, right? But how many times did Tully Blanchard cut a promo and call Dusty Rhodes fat? He didn't need to. Right? He didn't, first of all, he didn't need to. Second, he always recognized Dusty's place in the pro wrestling world and recognized what he achieved and how good he was. And then he took shots and said, But I'm better than you are. I'm going to outlast you. I'm going to take you down. It's just, it's cheap. It's just cheap, man. That's just me talking. I don't know. Yes, Michelle, I do think Corbin's winning. Uh, da, 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 da. Jim says, I heard AJ say the contract he signed with WWE is his last wrestling contract. Yeah, you know, Jim, I think I've heard that too. And you know what? Uh, if he wanted to take a backstage role in WWE, he more than, more than absolutely could. So, we'll see. Shane talking about, uh, Shane hit me with the Terry Funk thing, man. I'm sorry, I was looking up. I didn't see your comment. My apologies. What's up, Jen? Jen Hernandez. What's going on? Uh, any thoughts on Michael Cole leaving? Keith, is Michael Cole leaving? There's rumblings right now that WWE is going to start shaking out the commentary teams. I don't know if that means Cole is gone or not. I don't think Cole would ever leave the company. I think he'd be backstage. Yes, Jason, Anthem did buy Access TV. We addressed that earlier on the show. You're totally right about that. And Impact is moving to Access TV in October. Uh, Sub Sandy in Germany. Guten Tag. It's the only German word I know, I think. Michelle. Michelle, is this your first time? Shut up. Is it? Michelle Martinez, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Oh, Shane, thanks, man. Terry Funk calling Dusty. Okay, thanks, Shane. I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, I for- I actually forgot about that, but eh, I don't know. Does that feel cheap? It just feels cheap, man. I don't know. Litmus Lopez says she'd rather have Gable win than Corbin King of the Rain. Boy, I'm t- again, from your lips to the ears of God on that one. But, you know. We even called a SmackDown. Oh, that is the rumor, is isn't it? Yeah, eh, bleh. Psh. I've never been high on Cole either. All respect to what he's done in the, in, in WWE because he has. He's been there through thick and thin, right? Eh, WWE. To his credit, they're just he's just doing what he's told to do. He's selling it like he's supposed to sell it. Commentary's god awful a lot of times, but how much of that is you know when he did the. Uh, the NXT, the NXT UK tournament, he was commentary, right? So good. He was so good at that. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I don't think that Vince McMahon was yelling in his ear that night. I think that was a uh, part of the reason. So do I think John Moxley will come back to take that? Uh, no, Michelle, I don't. He's done with that company and he should be. Jen says, uh, oh. Sorry if anybody heard that. My phone started ringing. And when the iPhone rings, the Mac, the laptop rings, everything rings. So if you heard that, my apologies. You know what they say? If it's live, it was supposed to happen, right? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Undertaker versus... I don't know if uh, if uh, if Undertaker's going to verse anybody at this point. I, there's no... No one that I've heard about is he going to feud with or whatnot. I have all the the legends in WWE that maybe it's time to take a step back and 
you know, I think everybody needs to know when to call it a career, in my opinion. I think Taker's at that point. But there, that's just my opinion. I'm not living his life. I don't know his situation. Maybe he's perfectly happy with, with wrestling more. I don't know. I don't know the story. Interesting to find out what happens. Yes, NXT going to USA. Yeah, for sure. Going to be interesting. Uh, but, uh, Jamel says, King, have you, do you think King of the Ring has been boring? I thought there's been some good matches so far. Nothing compares to the G1, though, for sure. No doubt. If that's your measuring stick, nothing's going to compare. Because G1 was so good. Iron Taker versus Sami Zayn at WrestleMania. Sal, yeah, and I'm actually the last five minutes, maybe three. I don't know. But you might be right, for sure. So, uh, okay, so here we go, folks. Let's go ahead and keep on rolling. SmackDown Women's Champion Bailey versus Charlotte Flair. I don't see Charlotte Flair winning this. I think Bailey and Sasha Banks will continue. I think that um, Sasha will take the Women's Championship. Um, I just got a call. Don't know who that was. Don't really care. Mm, doing the show. The show's more important than your silly phone call, right? Click. There you go. Anyway. Um, uh, I, th- I think Sasha is going to beat Becky, and I think we're going to look at uh, um, Becky and Sasha raining down terror upon WWE's women's division. That's just me talking. Jim says Fiend should retire Taker whenever the time is right. I'm not. I wouldn't be upset at that at all. Uh, Toby says God, please let Becky lose. Wow, I don't know. Interesting. For the love of God, please no more shame at man. Boy, everybody's saying that, Paul. No doubt. Charlotte is from Charlotte. She'll get a pop for sure, and Bailey should get pretty well booed. I would think. They, people are starting to boo her anyway. Let's just call it for what it is. Uh, Tim, to my knowledge and to what I've been told, they're saving Bray. They're saving him and trying to keep his matches special and like, you know, sort of a an Andre the Giant kind of situation. And even Undertaker where you're like, he's used very sparingly, so it'll mean more. I don't know. Who knows? To my knowledge, he's not hurt or anything. Not, not that I know of. Fiend and Black, but oh my God, Miss Lopez, my dear, you just freaking nailed that one. Alistair Black versus the Fiend, man, I could get behind that one for sure. Sandy, I gotta agree with you. Um, Jim says uh, 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 Charlotte gets the win in Flair Country. She might, she might, but you know what's gonna happen, Jim? If she doesn't, you know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? Everybody and their daddy. Uh, Sunday is going to say, you know why Charlotte didn't win, right? Because because Rick went and run his mouth at WWE. That's exactly what they're going to say. And they're going to say that he ruined it for Charlotte. And 99.9% is probably nowhere near close to being true. The match outcome is probably already in the, uh, been predetermined long ago. But everybody's going to think that. Wait and see. Don't fall down the rabbit hole, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just saying. Bit, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. We will have a great time. Uh, Jamel, great, great take. Jamel wouldn't be want to see aggression from Bay. A lot of people have been waiting for that for sure. Sandy says hometown heroes never win. Sandy, great point. In the world of WWE, if you're from that hometown and that's the town that's where the show is that night, you're probably gonna get hit in the head with a brick. <laughs> you're gonna get hard weighed by Brock Lesnar. Yeah, because that's how they roll. And tonight. Facing her from Charlotte, North Carolina. <sighs> and she comes out and she gets like hit by a truck and stuff. And it's over and she's dead. And you're like, oh my God, they killed her. Yeah, it's the truth, man. It's crazy. You hear my chair? Listen. God, this thing is falling apart, dude. I'm going to be sitting here doing the show one day and it's just going to be, oh, and I'm just going to fall over. And all of you are going to laugh. And that's not fair. It's not nice at all. Just saying. Paul says, rock the headline Hall of Fame next year. It's entirely possible. There's been rumors going around about that. We'll see what happens. Do I think Seth is going to win? Uh, we're not there yet, Michelle. Hold tight. We will get there, I promise you. Tim says, King of the Ring tournament, I'll get it all. Hot take, Tim. I'm not, I mean, if that's your viewpoint, man, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you're wrong for sure. Wilf. Wilf? Yes? Thank you. I appreciate that. I've seen you before. William, what's up, dude? How's it going? Thanks, everybody, for watching right now. All right, so... Um, uh, I do say Bailey over Charlotte Flair. That's just me. Let's get to Roman versus Rowan. Roman. Rowan. Paging Dr. Roman. Dr. Rowan, Dr. Roman. I don't know. Uh, Three Stooges uh, in the house, yo. So, um, no disqualification match. I'm going to go the route you didn't think I was going to go. I say Eric Rowan for the win. So no DQ. I think anything could happen. I say Eric Rowan for the win. We'll see what happens. Don't know if I'll be right or not, but, you know, I'm going out there on a limb. Barry says, who cares? Barry, come on! 
Hey, I, I got to say this. I got to say this now. Rowan cut a nice promo on SmackDown. You got to hand it to this guy. This guy never talks, for sure. And he had to get over a crowd going, what? What? Because people are sheep and they just go, what? It's like they're all having like a spastic fit. What? And they're doing that. Come on, man. I know people want to... And see, and, and here's the deal, okay? Am I going to have fun Sunday with my kid at Clash of Champions? Yeah, I am. Here's what I here's what I dread. I dread that crowd. If you've ever been to a non-WWE show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. WWE crowds get themselves over. That's what they want to do. WWE crowds want to get themselves over. Okay, That's all they care about is getting themselves over. Uh, they don't care about the show. They don't care about pulling for their favorites. They don't care about making noise as much as they care about putting themselves over. That's why they bring the beach balls. That's why they do the wave. That's why they stand up and chant CM Punk when CM Punk is 3,000 miles away. Do you see what I'm saying? It's it's just nonsense. So I dread that. When we went to see NXT, I had some idiot yelling in my ear the whole show. And he wasn't even pulling for the guy in the match. He was just yelling random stuff to get laughs. He'd go, hey, what better do that? Whatever. And everybody running me, ha, 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 you're funny, ha, ha, like Beavis and Butthead. I'm not even making this up. It, every time we go to a show that is not WWE, I never have to worry about this. You know what people are doing at those shows? Watch. See this? This is my impression of someone watching the wrestling match. Oh, that was good. All right. That's, you see what I'm saying? People in WWE crowds want to put themselves over. Period. And we'll probably have people around screaming nonsense and it'll be dumb. And I'll probably have to turn around and say, dude, would you not scream that in my kid's ear? Wait and see. I'll have tales next week. So, I'm not going to uh, soapbox anymore on this. So, there you go. Tim says Bailey beats Charlotte with Sasha's help. And same for Sasha and Bailey. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Why is it be not using Rusev? He's a great. Uh, Shane, I don't know, man. I got to tell you the same thing I've said here before on the program. Yeah, Jim, good point. Um, I, I firmly believe Rusev's dug his own grave. He and Lana together. I think that they, they've not helped their situation at all in that company, and that's just me. And you know what? If they were to watch this show or hear my comments, they could tell me to, to take a hike. Whatever. Lana blocked me on Twitter years ago. I, you know, I, I whatever. I call it like I see it. Um, I think they've dug their own grave in that company. I think they're responsible for a lot of what's happened to them in terms of not being featured, not being presented, not being given title opportunities and title reigns and whatnot and pushed to the top. I just, I, I think they're partly responsible. That's just me talking. Michael says, I think Rusev launched good aid. But Michael, to your point, um, it, is WB the problem or have they been part of the problem? Because if they've been part of the problem, would AEW be any better? Do they get in their own way? Do you know what I'm saying? Because it kind of feels like they're just getting in their own way. Like sometimes the talent has it and you're like, this talent has it. This guy or gal, man, they've got it. But they just can't, like in, in, in my everyday, you know, uh, other life, working full time and paying the mortgage. I've had people work for me and I've had to flat out say, dude, you're so good. Why do you keep getting in your own way? And it's kind of the same. That's kind of my takeaway from that. You guys can disagree with me if you want to. Um, all right. Isaac said, what a roost. All right. For one thing, they were in the middle of the storyline where Lana was like, you know, uh, hooking up with Dolph, I guess. These two get engaged. They go straight to social media, Instagram. They're hugging up together with the ring, and they're all, all we're so in love. And I know what you're saying. They should be able to have a personal life outside of WWE. You're right. Personal life. Okay? That didn't help their cause any. That's just one thing among several things. They run their mouths to TMZ every chance they had. Uh, I don't think TMZ cares to talk to them anymore. I don't know if that's true or not. But I just, I don't, you know... You have to know the business you're in, folks. You got to know what you're in. It caused WWE to have to rewrite the entire, like, scratch the whole storyline. I don't know where they were going with it. Probably, maybe it would have sucked anyway. Who knows? They had to change in midstream because of that. Because they just, oh, let's pose and, and no shirts on, I think, or, or he didn't or something. Lose my ring. All right. I'm like, dude, really? I don't know. And then everyone's Mac was, how come they're not doing anything with Roos? Dude, look. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I've lost my mind. Uh, Kevin Owens fired. Yeah, he's not fired, man. Uh, someone said earlier they thought he was going to go to NXT. I'd be okay with that. I'd be totally fine with that, especially them going to USA, man. We'll see what happens. I'd be totally fine with that. 
Uh, let's see. Let's move on, shall we? WWE Champion Kofi Kingston versus Randy Orton. I have never bet against Kofi. I'm not trying to bet against him now. Having said that, I think Randy Orton's taking the title. I think Randy got laid out on SmackDown. And you can't always put the bank on this. Uh, and no, Never say never in WWE. But in the world of WWE, when they beat the living tar out of somebody and put him through a table on the show before, on the go-home show, that dude's probably winning. Not every time. Not all the time. But I think it's a safe bet. And it, I don't know. I'm not saying put 20 bucks on it if you lose it, I owe you money. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I'm just saying, and, and I love Kofi. I do. But I, Kofi's had the belt since April. April 7th, WrestleMania, right? It's been a good little streak. So, uh, you know, five months. So, I don't know. Uh, I, he, it, it's, it'll be on his resume. It'll be a career-defining moment for him, something he'll never forget. His family got to experience it with him. I'm sure it was a very special moment. You go back and look at the video. Of course, it's a very special moment. But I think maybe it's over. I don't know. And you know what? If he goes over, good for him. And I don't even know that he cares about it, to be honest with you. It is just business. And titles don't always mean what they say that they mean in front of your face. Sometimes that's just the company talking and putting them in the right spot to say the right thing. You see what I'm saying? So there you go. Paul says Randy will lose. He's taking time off to clash due to persistent neck injury. Paul, if you're right, well, there you go. There you go. Paul may have just called it, folks. There you go. Shane says, oh, I see David Richards back in RH. He is married to Angelina Love, I think. Are you right? I think you're right. I like him. I like Davey, yeah. Rick says we want Brock back. Oh, my God. Who else is with Rick? Rick Harvey Jr. Oh, Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick. Who was with Rick and wants Brock back? Hit me. I'm not making fun of you, dude. I seriously want to know what everybody thinks about that. Uh, Jim says, Orton wins. Tyler going into Fox. It was a good run with Kofi, but it's run its course. Jim, can I ask you a question? And and uh, and let me, let, me, let me preface this with I'm okay with that. But um, I know this is going to sound bad. I don't mean it to. Would, knowing WWE's track record of wanting to put, um, be versatile, and their presentation, I mean, I think it's no it's no mystery why when you see posters and billboards and the side of the trucks that there's, I know this is going to sound bad, I really don't mean it to, but it's, it's the company I'm talking about. There's a white guy, an African American, a woman, Japanese, you see what I'm saying? It's never just all white people. And I, I is that coincidence? I don't know. And I'm not trying to suggest anything otherwise. But would it make more sense from a business perspective to keep the title on Kofi? And again, no disrespect to anybody involved. I'm trying to think the way that company thinks. Maybe I'm dead wrong and maybe I'm way out of bounds with what I'm saying right now. And if anybody's getting offended by it, my apologies. I don't mean anything by it. I'm just, I'm asking about in terms of what the company would want to do in that regard. If you guys think I'm nuts, please tell me. It's, I'm totally fine with you if you, if you disagree with that. So, um... <laughs> Most people are disagreeing with the Brock thing, dude. The same. Sal says, I think Seth Rollins beats Strowman because WWE likes Rollins more. Eh, I don't know. Jim says, from a business perspective, yes, but do you see Vince doing that? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, every time you think you can call that company and know what they're going to do, they just switch it up on you. I don't have any idea, man. For sure. Brock versus Lashley. They both have wanted this match for a long time. I don't know if it's ever going to happen at this point. I have no idea. Uh, Rick says impact on access TV is going to turn heads. I hope so. I wish them all the luck in the world. I really do. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. William says Brock just needs to quit. Interesting. Uh, bu- 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 just get rid of Brock. Wow. If the revival win, Randy wins. If not, to keep the belt. It would be interesting to see Randy win the title and be flanked by the, uh, the revival who had the titles also. That'd be an interesting change of pace, right? It went from an all new day championship trio to, uh, the revival and, uh, Orton. So, be interested to see what happens. I'm, I, yeah, I'm curious. It's going to be a good show, I think. Uh, Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch versus Sasha. I called this one already. Already, I think Sasha is going over and getting the championship. She did win the title from Charlotte Flair in Charlotte on Monday Night Raw. Hmm, there you go. Don't forget that one. Um, but knowing WWE's track record with Sasha being champion, that means she holds it till the following night, loses it on Raw. I don't know. Who knows? Universal Champion Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman. I don't see Braun winning the title. That's just me talking. Um, there you go. That's your card. Miss Lopez says anything on the draft. Nothing that I know of. Nothing that I've heard yet. Nakamura to Raw and AJ to SmackDown after the clash. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. 
Becky Lynch is on the SmackDown trailer. Yeah, she is. The game. You're talking about the game, right? Any news on when and where NWA will premiere on TV? Uh, uh, it's uh, mm, September 29th and 30th. But as far as how you can watch it, I don't know. I, Shane, great question, by the way. I know that they sold out the events, I think, in Atlanta, the, the uh, studio show. I think they've sold out the events. Cornette's coming back for it. Um, we'll see how it goes down. They've not announced if Fight Club is involved, Fight TV. Be interesting to see if it is. I'd like to watch it. Um, I'm not traveling to Georgia for it, so you know we'll see what goes down. But um, I don't have anything specific for you right now. I'm sure it'll air on local, a uh, local affiliate in Georgia, is my guess. Yeah. Uh, oh, I meant the, on the Fox SmackDown. Show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Becky Lynch is on the Fox. Oh, I see, I see. My bad, dude. I thought you were talking about the video game trailer. My bad. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. But you know they film this stuff. Way in advance. They could change creative creative direction. I roll my eyes when I say creative direction because of WWE. They could change their minds anytime they want to, man. Crazy. Was, was the King of the Ring supposed to have uh, a final at Clash Champions? Yes, Victor. It was Baron Corbin uh, versus um, Chad Gable. They've put it off to Raw. It's going to happen on the Raw after, not on Sunday. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I didn't have any desire to see Baron Corbin in the ring. I like Chad Gable. I don't really care for Corbin too much. That's just me. Just my opinion. Take it or leave it. Toby says, I'm old, but the NWA belt will always be my favorite. Your favorite title, like actual championship belt? I love the 10 pounds of gold. Not the great big gold belt that Flair had. I'm talking about 10 pounds of gold. I do love that title. But my favorite wrestling championship of all time is the NWA World Television Champion with the red level red leather. I love that title. I love it. I don't own any title belts because I'm weird about that. But if I had to own one or wanted to own one, that'd be the one I'd get because I freaking love it. Raymond, what's up? 10 pounds of gold was awesome. And it's still awesome. It's still out there for sure. The new version is nice too. Uh, See, who else thinks Becky is horrible at promos in the ring? I don't think she's horrible, William. I just think her cadence, her tone of voice, she's not very loud. She's not very boisterous. She talks a lot down here when she speaks. And which is a can be a good thing because it forces the audience to shut the frig up and actually listen for a change. WB crowd, I'm sorry. Again, I call it like I see it. Which is a good thing. Shut them up. Force them to listen to you. But on the other hand, you can't really command a room with that voice. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But that's kind of how I feel. I don't think she's horrible at it. I just think it's. I think it's her tone. I think her tone prohibits her from having those those you know standout promos. Uh, Tully Blanchard, best TV champion, either him or Arn. Yep. Uh, mouth looks dry all the time. <laughs> Tully be getting very specific on you. Becky's mouth is dry all the time. I'm sick of this. No, no, I get you. Cena Spinner WWE title was awesome. Paul, my God, Paul's a WWE fan. Oy vey. You really believe that, dude? Hey, man, to each his own. No disrespect. It's not my cup of tea. So, yeah. You think uh, me as well. Miz will win a con championship 10 times. Yes, Michael, I do. I don't know if he'll win it Sunday, but he'll he'll win it. They want to erase Jericho from the books. Not literally, but I think they want to erase him from the Intercontinental title conversation. You know, so they're not talking about him anymore, and they shouldn't be, right? He's in he's in a, well, we can proceed to be a competitor. Whether they perceive that or not, who knows? I think they believe they're a competitor. At least they need to be reckoned with. So, so uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think they want to they want to put him over for the title at some point, if not Sunday, at some point, so they can mention him as maybe being the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. So there you go. Uh, I said Jericho is the goat. Well, there you go. Well, there you go, folks. That is a Clash O Clash O Champions. I find it interesting. It's not Clash of the Champions because that's NWA WCW thing. So I guess they wanted to make it specific to them and just make it Clash of Champions. It's WWE. They do really weird stuff. And they take one word out. Hoy. Right? So, uh, thanks, Toby. Appreciate it. I think that's all I got for you, man. Uh, views on Punk next move? I Paul, I don't know, man. I don't know if Punk has great move or next move. Who knows? Uh, what do I think about Seth? I think Seth's very good. I think Seth, a lot of times, like we said before, might, maybe gets in his own way in terms of putting his foot in his mouth. I like him. It's nothing personal. All right, folks, uh, I think we're going to take it home. Everybody watch Clash O Champions Sunday. You might see me and the boy in the crowd, and we'll wave at you. We'll do this, and we'll go, hey, all right, all right, woo.
No beach balls allowed. So that's all I got for you, man. Listen, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Isaac on lunch, thank you, man. Thank you everybody for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody uh, had fun today. If this was your first time watching and we're not friends on the Facebook, send me a friend request if you can't find me. Send me a message in Wrestling Rumors Instant Messenger. I will send you a friend request and we'll be buddies from that point on. Sound good? Thanks for watching the show. If you've not subscribed on iTunes, Google Play, iHeartRadio, please do so today. Leave a review on iTunes. I do very much appreciate it. Man, that's a lot of stuff to say in just 10 seconds. But I'm getting good at that. That's all I got, man. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time on Tom Clark's main event.